Just watch. This is how we do it. And you know this, man. Hey guys, Mr. Google here to review the latest romantic comedy ensemble, Think Like a Man. Think Like a Man is directed by Tim Story and it stars Kevin Hart, Michael Eli, Romany Malco, Megan Good, Gabrielle Union, Turtle from Entourage, and Taraji B. Henson. I was actually one of the only people who was actually sort of looking forward to this movie because I didn't hate the trailer. I thought the trailer looked pretty funny. Maybe just because of Kevin Hart. Yeah, it was because of Kevin Hart. And but I just want to tell you right off the bat, Kevin Hart was the best part about this movie. But I would be lying if I said I didn't really, 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 really like this movie. It's really, really surprising. It's the biggest surprise and the best surprise of 2012 so far. The movie basically follows a group of guy friends as they uh, go into venture into their love lives and yeah it's like one of those movies and right off the bat uh, this movie tells us like the the basic stereotypes of like every you know main character of this movie and I thought that was really clever and the movie you know is very very funny and, I, and, it, and it's just really really funny at times yeah there's, there's quite a few jokes that don't work but it didn't take out of the enjoyment of this film whoever wrote this movie knows that the story really isn't that great. It's your your typical romantic comedy story. It's like it's sort of like Valentine's Day, the way it like moves and how everyone you know intersects and like you know you you get it. And the ending is you know of course we know you know it's gonna happen, but what, you know what what romantic comedy doesn't end like that? I mean, there's like a, a there's a specific few that don't, and we all know what those are. But this movie really is a good romantic comedy. The movie really shouldn't be about the story. It's really about the characters. I thought the characters were very well written, very likable most of the time, and I think the, the main character guys in this film were very, very good. Except Turtle from Entourage. He was just really, really bad. Now, there were a couple uh, love stories that I really liked, and a couple that I just didn't. A couple that I didn't were Michael Eli and Taraji P. Henson. I really like Michael Eli. I think he's a very good, you know, character actor in these sort of movies. And I liked him in this movie, but I didn't like Taraji P. Henson. Well, I like Michael Eli, but I didn't like her character at all. I, I thought she was, like, in a different movie. But she was just, she was just really mean and not really a right fit for his character. And, I don't know, by the end, you know what happens, but, like, it just didn't really feel sincere. And another story I wasn't really feeling was... Turtle and Gabrielle Union. What the hell was that? Why do they need to be in that movie? I don't even like Gabrielle Union. What? Why are they even in this movie? That that story was just cheesy. But all the other love stories were very well executed, like the Terrence J. and uh, Regina Hall story I thought was very good. Um, uh, you know, the Mama's Boy story. And my favorite story of the whole movie was Romany Malco and uh, Megan Good. Very good in this movie. Both of them were very good. Romy Malco, I think, was perfectly casted in this movie. It's like the the ladies' man who tries to be some someone who he, who he really isn't. And I thought that was very well done and executed. I thought he was very good. Best one in this movie was Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was hysterical in this movie, and his character wasn't like you know the typical comedic relief who just comes in and comes out of the story. No, he has a, a pivotal part of the story. He actually has his little story of his own. But the thing that made us made it work about his character, he narrated this whole movie, and it just made it more entertaining. And he's just very, very good in this film. Now, I know a lot of people just see the trailer and they just base it off that. For this, for this movie, just don't. It's a very enjoyable film. It's one of the better movies of this year. I'll give it a strong, strong eight out of ten. It might change to an eight and a half in time. I don't know. I think it's very good. I, I know a lot of people won't feel the same way as I did, but I liked it. I think it's a very good romantic comedy, one of the best ones I've seen in a, in a while, quite a while. And, yeah, that's what I think of it. And, uh, really, the made from the best stuff on earth? Like, what the hell is... I really want to know what that stuff is.